Okay, so um, this is my first car now that I've added the crankshaft from the last episode to the Viper. It's my first car that's been rated as 400 plus performance rating, which means it's, it's very fast. <laughs> that's all I know. Um, Honestly, uh, I like this Viper. I, I like the Viper. It's got a nice curve to it when you're uh, like drifting around corners, especially up in the hills. It's got a nice enough sound. It's pretty good, but like in the low a areas of like the low gears, it's very wallowy. I felt like it was very wallowy. Like you're just kind of like, and it's like. Whoa. You know, like I found this with the modern Mustang as well in this game. You just, if you're just cruising around at a kind of like sub 100, kind of like maybe sub 75 miles per hour kind of area, it's a bit like, and it feels like it takes a while for it to get a kick up the ass and go, oh, you, you want me to move? <laughs> like, oh, and then it just kind of, and then when it's up in the high range, it's fine. But like it just feels a bit like sluggish in some of the low level responsiveness especially once you've driven the f40 which is very like twitchy all of the time and responsive and the acceleration and throttle control is really good really like really sharp this feels a bit like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> like you're you like you're pushing an old man out of a wicker chair <laughs> it's the best way to explain it where is it what? <laughs> he wanted me to do so. As you can see, the straight line of acceleration and performance of this car is very good and it means that once you've got anything also, like I've said before, this game doesn't have very competitive AI and the game is not trying to be particularly competitive or varied offline. Or if is just lazy, <laughs> like I said before, and uh, it means that most of the time the AI won't give you much of a challenge if you have a 400 plus performance car or even something that's in the 390 area because the game is like, huh? <laughs> the game is like, huh? You have a, you have a car that you modified in this modification game. That's crazy. It's almost like we're playing Need for Speed here. I also have to admit, like, there's certain races where you will see some really cool, like, design cars by the AI, and then you hit a certain performance level, and they just all start driving green and grey Lamborghinis and Porsches, and it's got no modification at all. Ah, I see. Now you'll see the wallowiness, but you'll also see what happens if you fuck up passing a gate, but it doesn't say you missed a gate, fuck you, go back. There's like, it's random. Like, I'm trying to work out what it is, distances, if there's an obstacle in the way, or if they just think you went around it or took a different road by the bad pathing system. See, even there, like, even with that shitty area where I crashed, straight line smash everyone and you just like, oh look I win because there was a final drag at the end. I really want this car here that this dude's driving. I want a classic Lambo at some point so you'll see that at some point when I don't have a load of essays to write <laughs> because I'm studying to get my teaching license right now. So uh, that's why it went, that's why it went September, October, November, two videos every single week because they were scheduled from my summer holidays and then suddenly nothing because um, I literally haven't had time to record anything in three months. That's all from like August and September. <laughs> And the Wi-Fi is kind of shit, so I can't upload stuff. Oh, those, that lady, oh, all these people, their clothes. Low poly clothes of the new fashion. That man is so fashionable, he's low poly himself. Mm, I think 
think I need to change a setting. I have a PS4 Pro, but I don't know if it's actually a PS4 Pro. I bought it on a Chinese website because I live over here, and they were like, yeah, PS4 Pro, man, it's a PS4 Pro. And you're like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, I'll get my PS4 Pro, and uh, then I buy it, and it's like performance feels very standard. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and the hard drive sucks, I had to buy an external Samsung. Like, they've literally got, like, something you're supposed to put in a gaming PC, a terabyte SSD just sat on my desk with a, like, adapter plugged into the back of this PS4 so I can download more than two games, because I downloaded Death Stranding once, and the, it was like, oh, and then the main menu started lagging, and I was like, <laughs> Anyway, back to the game. So we're doing this dumb lappy one, which I don't like, and is only shows up this uh, this crossover shit. Like it's trying to be rally cross for some reason, but only once. And the AI fucking freaks out every time, so it's a guaranteed win because they hit the some of them hit that building every time and get stuck for a full 30 seconds each time because the pathing is off. And this is the kind of shit which screams fuck off ship it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you can see this car is pretty fast. It's not having any trouble. I can clown around and the, the game, the performance of the car is just carrying me through every race, so... That's what 400 plus performance rating does. Just basically means that you can just cheese everything. Yeah, I think I need to change the setting, like I was saying, because I put, I set need for speed. Look at the shit. <laughs> the AI is just like, what? There's a building here. <laughs> So I'm lapping 8th place, that was the uh, guy in the Subaru DRZ Premium. And now he's going to get back his lap because I hit a truck. But don't worry, we'll lap him again just so that he knows. Like, dude, I'm beating you and I've crashed like multiple times. Like, why are you driving at 20 miles an hour, <laughs> you, you nerd? <laughs> Oh yeah, this car's so fast it can go up to 40 miles an hour when I touch the pedal. Look at him! What a nerd! Anytime he goes faster than he's going downhill. <laughs> Where's my heat at? Turn the beat back. Seriously, where's my heat? Oh! There's a speed trap. If I could just get a speed trap, this would be so much faster. Because it's a speed trap's worth of heat I need. Also, I kind of need to fix the car a little bit, but I don't want to like waste one of my three on that much damage. So, or I could get into a cop chase, but then I risk doing shit like that, mashing my car into crap. So, uh. Yep, there's a car there. <laughs> that is indeed a car. <laughs> so, uh... yeah, there's really no speed traps here. So yeah, I think I need to change an option in the settings because I set this game to be like, use a PS4 Pro's power to get better graphics, and I was like, yeah, let's do that, and now I just get texture load in that never loads in, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, don't know if that's an EA problem or I, I bought the wrong PS4 problem, so let's just fix my car because I'm stupid and hear everything, so. sad that they don't make the Viper anymore. Bring back the Viper so that I can still not afford it. Yeah, let's just do this one, fuck it. I ain't got time to screw around. Hopefully the exit point for this race will be somewhere near the heat level 3 race and then we can get another part. 
Soon, man. I just need to grind a fuck ton more just to get the ultimate parts and then do it all over again. Like, the moment I get all of the ultimate parts basically means, great, I'm halfway through, because all of those parts have an ultimate plus version. <laughs> I haven't even touched Ultimate Nitrous yet, so... Got the crankshaft though. Crank it up. That's the thing, right? I'm at performance level 400 plus on this mid-sport supercar that is like middle of the range in terms of like in this game. And it only has like about two-thirds of Ultimate parts on it. Not even Ultimate plus. It doesn't have the Ultimate exhaust or a few other things like the nitrous and shit and it's already like out of the game's rating limits so you're a bit like but to be honest i think that performance rating is really just so that you have a vague understanding of how much how fast your car should be roughly for like events and it's so poorly implemented that it actually doesn't make any sense at all and you might as well just ignore it it's just a number that says it's not as it's not as clever as Forza or like uh, any other racing game <laughs> where they actually have a system and it goes you're tiered up to this now it just goes here is number and then you can enter races and win anyway with a lower number it just depends on if you can drive. <laughs> really. There are off-road races where they're like, you need to have an off-road capability of 380, which some off-road cars literally will never reach. And then you enter your car at like sub 300 and you're up against a Volkswagen Beetle. Like the original VW Beetle and you're like, oh yeah, that's definitely got a 400 plus performance rating. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the game just straight up lies to you at some point to like make an artificial thing of like, no, nah, you can't enter this race, it's too hard. Then you get there and you're against like Chevrolet pickup trucks that are definitely like not high performance and you're like, nah, I think we'll find me. My Subaru and Pretzel's doing okay for that. Man, I haven't touched that car ever since I beat all of those races. They make you buy race they make you buy cars in this game to fulfill a certain purpose and then once you've done that purpose they just gather dust in your car garage hold your car hold. <laughs> well let's go to this one, it's Qubit this time. For once it's not Maori Venture. I hit this tree. Teach it its place. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do go do Qubit, and that's another thing, a lot of the high heat races, they just use the same couple of races again and again, and it's very often Mari Venture, Qubit, and there's another one I see a lot, and I forget the name of, because they all have just random names that have no relation to what they are, so. Also, I've been very lucky recently, when racing in this game, I have not come across anywhere near as many cops as I used to. Either it's been dialed back, or it's, um, you just hit a high performance rating and they're like, oh, I'm too scared, let's not fight him. Because, uh, yeah, I get no problems at all now. Maybe it's to do with, like, spawning and loading distance, but, like, I notice when uh, I drive a car that takes a little while to get up to speed, like a heavy muscle car or something, or a car with less performance rating, I get a lot more problems with the cops, probably because it takes them a while to load in. <laughs> I used to have this in Fallout when I lowered my luck down to, like, nothing in Fallout 3, where it was like, I showed my friend what happens, and he's like, hey, this isn't so bad, and I'm like, turn around and then look back again, and by the time you turn around and look back again, a load of mutant bears will have appeared, because it requires you to turn around for it to, like, pop in, or you to go over a hill, <laughs> for it to then load in a load of, like, death claws and shit, <laughs> and then you do that, you just turn around and turn back again, and like a horde of Yaogwai bears will come chasing directly after you. 
I don't know why I went up the hill. I meant to do that, shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, it was like a constant joke that if you have, like, play. I want to do that at some point. I don't have Fallout 3 anymore, but like... If I ever get a gaming PC and I have the time, I'm gonna like stream or record a series of what happens when I try and lower my luck in Fallout, because it was like luck level 3, because I thought, ah, I don't need luck. Yeah, you need luck, because luck basically means it governs everything. Like, it governs drop rates, it governs like... <laughs> it governs like the random monster generator, random encounters, and it will just screw you over. Like, you, you accidentally drink a beer whilst it's in your inventory and you'll get a message saying, You're now addicted to beer. You're now suffering from beer withdrawal. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> like, it's just bullshit. <laughs> it's so harsh. You will never pass any checks. Like, even if you've got really good skills, you will, all, uh, you will always get caught stealing. You will always get caught pickpocketing. You will always fail most attempts first time. Any force lock chances will fail. Like, all of this shit will fail. It's hilarious. A lot of things that you wouldn't think about roll off of luck in Fallout. Also, like, the how quickly stuff deteriorates when you use it. So sometimes I had a pistol that would have, like, 90% durability. I'd shoot it three to seven times and it go, this pistol is broken now. <laughs> you can no longer shoot this pistol if I had bullets, because that also governs how often bullets drop. So you'd be going around and you'd just find trash everywhere and have to sell the trash to get like two bullets. You'd shoot the two bullets and say, your, bu your gun is fucking useless now and it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it was so ridiculous. So I'm not particularly bothered about catching up with this guy because I'm going to get my part either way. I'm more worried about shaking off the cops here because, um, you know, if they smash up my car and I can't get the part back, that's more annoying than coming first because you still get a pretty big payout and you get the part, which is why I'm doing this. So. I can catch him if we want, but like on these roads it's just like, I don't like driving these roads at night because they spawn too much traffic. Oh, that's cold. LOL. <laughs> oh, he's catching, he, he's actually sticking to me, I thought I just went straight by him and he had no chance in hell of catching me. Give me my money back, I want a refund on this 400 performance car if they can't outrun the basic cop car model. <laughs> um. Okay, 500 yards remaining. Uh. Okay, well we got that. We gotta shake off these cops. Ah. Uh. And uh, no. No, no, no time to swing around on fishtail. Let's go. Suspect in the water. Suspect car is in sight. I don't want to see this shit show on my social feed tonight, so please get the support. Damn, it's socials. <laughs> Says Cobb. Okay, so we lost them. Now, where's the nearest? Oh, it's always behind you. Okay, let's go around the long way so I don't accidentally re-encounter the same cops. Oh yeah, fun fact about uh, dealing with police for the first time is when they see you and they turn their sirens on, it doesn't necessarily mean that they'll actually initiate a cop chase if you outrun them before they can open up their field of view and initiate the cop chase so they can follow you for a bit flashing their lights and it's only if they can keep you in their sight line for a long time. Just a good hint. Just pull away fast enough. And no matter how good or bad your night was, tomorrow's another day.
Oh, thanks, guy. I needed your life coaching. I bet you it's a turbo. You owe me money if it's a turbo or a supercharger again, because I bet you it's a fucking supercharger. It's not really fair because I recorded this gameplay earlier, but I bet you. I've forgotten, but I bet you. You just qualify for some more upgrades. Told you. you. Don't give me something useful. Give me something I already have. Oh great, I got the ultimate turbo when I already have the ultimate dual turbo. <laughs> What's the point in this? Oh.